are going to do a little recruiting here since he's a potential <laughs> free agent for this upcoming season. Well, as if his plays needed any more reason to make higher volume as Jason Tatum buries a three. As J.B. Bickerstaff already starting to go into his bench. Strews broken up. It's Tatum. So a lot of that defensive activity from him the other night. So if you think about the matchup right now, you see Levert short there on that triple. Okoro, Tatum got him with a clean block. It comes up empty. Okoro screaming for a foul. Tatum into the chest, goes right at Garland. That was a strong physical attack there by Tatum. And after the miss there by Okoro on the other end, that Celtics able to convert that in transition. Kenny and Chuck uh, with uh, the word from FanDuel. Chuck not confident early on in the Cavs. As uh, Cleveland comes up empty again, 10 straight points for Boston. As we hit the 7.30 mark of the quarter, Tatum starting to cook, make it 12 straight for the Celtics. Against Brown. And Dean Wade unable to squeeze that pass as their fourth turnover into the corner. Pritchard! Let's him hear about it behind that Celtics bench. Cleveland to just try to muddy this game up as best they can. Tatum. Knives his way into the paint. Little bit of a late whistle is going to put Tatum at the free throw line. There did appear to be some contact. 27 out of Utah State. Look at Tatum. Full extension as he spins to the goal. That was a beautiful play by Thompson. Tatum. Thompson, the last link to that Cleveland title team at 16, getting him juiced up. Tatum. Backing down Struess makes it look easy. Yeah, that is a tough finish by Tatum there. Just showing a little bit of everything offensively here in this first Tatum quarter. Taking Struess off the dribble. Boy, coming with bad intentions, and he's going to clean up his own mess. What a quarter for Jason Tatum. Activity sure has offensively. White the driving kick into the corner to Brown. Tatum up top. Dazzling pass from Tatum now as he lofts it to Cornett. Beautiful basketball. That's what we haven't seen as much here the last few minutes from the Celtics. They've been a little disjointed offensively. Haven't been crisp with their ball Tatum. movement. Tatum again to Cornett. And I tell you what, Jason Tatum just done a, a, doing a great job with his playmaking after setting it the tone there with his offense in that first. Chances to take the lead here. Up the floor, White to Tatum. Backs his way in ag against Okoro. Contact, and Tatum's going to shoot two. I don't think there's any question. When we talk multiple efforts, that last possession by Garland is exactly what we're talking about. Boy, Tatum got Okoro. It's a two-on-two -two push. Tatum taking contact and finishes at the cup. That was an impressive finish by Jason Tatum. And Tatum's going to hit with a technical. Yeah, he, he's been riding the officials and not happy. And there's a lot of contact on that drive. There's no question about it. But in the postseason, oftentimes you're not going to get that call. Able to kind of get involved offensively. Only two field goal attempts in this first half. Caps have a foul to give. Tatum for to shoot. Levert extends. Tatum on a step back. Splash! Great call there, Sparrow, by them not taking it. And you give this man the opportunity to seize the moment with that triple. So Jason Tatum, who the other night had his first 30-point game in a month. Seven-point game. Here comes Struess off the dribble. Missed it. Thought that there was a foul coming. It never came. Hauser! Miss layup at one end, and they give one up at the other. Nine points. Some of the trade talks last year. Signed up to the contract extension. As Mobley has it poked away, they give it away here. Final 30 seconds. Oh, primary action really well. Remember, this group on the floor right now for the Cavs. Two guys that can create space with Garland and Levert. Tatum, tough shot. Over the top of Tristan Thompson. Yeah, call that a high five. And, it, and, and the thought process is that if your hand touches the hand after the release, that should not be a foul. Tatum, boy, aggressively getting into the paint. Boston does that as well as any team in the league, and Tatum has got 29. And Tatum, Tatum against Levert. The spin, and then a clean strip, but Tatum gets it back. 
Boy, the concentration after Levert got him cleanly. And it's back to seven. 115 left. Tatum trying to turn the corner. Brown from deep. He buries it. Tatum and Brown, the two stars, trying to get it back to Boston and a potential 3-1 lead. And the join continues here in Cleveland on TNT. And I love the fact that Tatum was willing to make the right read there, create that opportunity, and even Brown. when he's not a focal point from an offensive standpoint. Here comes Garland trying to push pace, misses at the rim, Tatum clears. And now the Boston Celtics with a chance to turn out the lights. Jason, we saw some offensive lulls from your group tonight. How are you able to regroup, and, and what is that process like? Uh, just not letting the snowball effect. Uh, learning from our experiences, whether we need to call a timeout or just regroup in real time. Uh, it's a game of runs. It's not going to be perfect every single time. Playing against a good team, they're going to make shots. Uh, but it's our job to figure it out. Speaking of figuring it out, you've been doing that all season long as a group. So now here we are, playoff second round. What is it that you know you can do and go to no matter what? Uh, to basketball. We, I've been in the second round every year almost in my career. Uh, so I, I've been here before. Most of you guys have to. Um, just, just stay poised. You know, whatever adversity we got to fight through, uh, we got to fight through it. All right, thanks for stopping. Nice job. Appreciate it. Guys.